Hi everybody, this is Pulkit Chabla from Coding Blogs and in this video we'll be discussing in brief about codeforces.com. It's a uh, website in which there are contests, there are competitive programming contests in which you can participate. Uh, to participate you'll have to make account, make an account, login, uh, click on the contests tab. There will be a list of contests with its date, length, time. You'll have to register for the contest, for example, uh, the next contest. Uh, happening according to the Indian time is on the 21st of April at 8 5 p.m. Uh, you'll have the contest history you'll have uh, you know uh, basically the number of problems solved by you will be visible and uh, if you are not able to participate in a contest you can also participate in that contest virtually by clicking here on the virtual participant uh, participation you can start the time when you uh, want to participate and uh, basically after having uh, started the participation while participating you will see uh, the rank list you know in a way that you will be able to compare your uh, ranking with uh, in, in a real time you will be uh, let's say you are five minutes into the contest the rank list that you will be able to see at that time will be exactly uh, will be that which was exactly five minutes after when the real contest started right uh, there are a bunch of uh, virtual contests that i did you can uh, see all on the recent virtual contest you can go to the standings and you can find your standings from friend standings uh, when i click on the friend standings it reminds me of one another feature uh, you can uh, basically add some users as your friends for example if i click on uh, some uh, profile i can star the profile so that uh, whenever i am participating in the contest uh, in a contest i can uh, separately see the you know ranks of my friends to compare myself with the with my friends right so uh, there's a rating system as well. There's a rating system, there's a ranking system so that you'll know in a better way where you stand among your peers. And after every contest, there is a rating change. As you can see, this contest was actually rated for the people who had rating uh, less than 1600. So that's why the number of participants are relatively higher than the number of people uh, that are shown here in the uh, friends rating changes so uh, there's a decrease and increase there's a decrease or increase in your rating according to your performance in that particular contest right so the rating system here is uh, very similar to the elo rating system which is basically a method to rank players uh, to rank chess players according to their skill level the formula that is used here is a similar one and uh, apart from that there are also some you know uh, ranks given to the person uh, according to his or her rating for example if a person uh, is has a rating from 0 to uh, 1199 uh, he or she will be gray the color will be gray and the title will be newbie and similarly uh, green uh, cyan blue uh, the title is expert violet candidate master orange master orange international master and so on up to uh, the legendary grandmaster which is 2900 plus as you can see you'll uh, have our, the current rating and the maximum rating which is uh, with, with the title and the rating and the color itself uh, to give you an idea in India I am actually recording this video from India we have four people who are red red basically means with a current rating of greater than 2400 and there are uh, around 98 people with a rating uh, below 2400 and greater than or equal to 2100 currently uh, which means there are 98 yellow people in India right so uh, we, we will quickly have a look at the type of contests that code forces hosts there are diff3 contests the one uh, with whose rank list I just showed, who, showed you was a diff3 contest a div3 contest uh, consists of relatively easier problems generally it has uh, six problems a to f a being the easiest and f being the hardest according to problem setters and it is rated for people having rating less than 1600 right 
other people can also participate in the contest virtually or in real time but uh, their rating will not be affected by their performance in the contest right and obviously their rank will also not be considered uh, while calculating the ratings for the people who had the ratings less than 1600 they'll basically the people with the greater rating will basically not be a part of the official rank list right there are diff2 only contests they are rated for people having rating less than 2100 and same goes for the educational rounds uh, they are also rated for just diff2 uh, with people for the people with rating less than uh, 2100 there are, there are div1 plus div2 rounds which are rated for everyone there is just one single round which is rated for everyone uh, these include global rounds the code force is global round one two three i think there there have been seven or eight global rounds i think so global rounds there are other contests uh, like in the beginning of uh, every year there is a contest called hello uh, and then the name of the year like in 2020 the name was hello 2020 and there are goodbye contests goodbye uh, the last year's next every year's last contest is called goodbye uh, last year's was goodbye 2019 and uh, there may be some other names as well which i cannot recall right now and there are some contests where there are two different contests running simultaneously one is for div1 and one is for div2 in this case the div2 contest is rated for people is for people with rating less than 1900 and this one is for people with rating greater than or equal to 1900 in this case basically uh they share a subset of problems like let's say the problems of uh, div2 are a b c d and so on then basically 2c uh, will be 1a generally it's uh, 2c is 1a it can be possible that 2d or uh, maybe some other problem is 1a but they have a subset common uh, so uh, 2d will be 1b and there will be some extra problems as well in div1 which will not be in div2 right so div1 people have their own rank list own different rank list and div2 people have their own different rank list in such contests right so uh, based on your performance your rating changes also there is one additional thing uh, in this platform on this platform which is uh, not generally seen in other competitive programming websites which is hacking uh, while the contest is running uh, what we can do is we can actually hack the solutions of some f f uh, the hack the solutions of other people to do that what we'll have to do is we'll have to go to our room and uh, and actually be before hacking somebody else's solution we'll have to lock our solution and i can't show you that right now because there is no live contest going uh, basically in the problems section of a contest there is an option to lock the uh, solution after having logged it i cannot resubmit it because when i'm hacking the solutions i'll actually be able to see the solutions of other people and uh, it will not make sense for them to allow me uh, to resubmit my solution right so to hack it i'll just click on the solution i'll read it and i'll try to find if there is something wrong with the solution and it's possible that the test case is not present in the test cases of the uh, you know of this question which the code forces people have set so i can just put on that test case and if the uh, code uh, of the person fails on that particular test case i'll get some extra points uh these type of hacks are available in, uh, are generally available in the in the div2 only contests in the div1 plus div2 and div1 and div2 in this this and this in div3 and educational rounds there is hacking but there is a different uh, type of hacking uh, in in these contests i've seen that uh, the hacking phase starts after the contest has ended it go goes on for 12 hours but during those 12 hours we do not really get any extra points for hacking somebody's solution so it is just for fun and uh, learning and uh, you know increasing the one's ability to debug code uh, but in the cases where i have tick mark a tick mark you will get some extra points also you'll lose some points if you uh, you know try to hack a correct solution if you if you uh, enter a wrong test case basically so plus 100 for a successful hack and minus 50 for a uh, for an unsuccessful hack right 
so i think this was it this was the, these were the things i wanted to discuss regarding codeforces.com uh, it's a really nice website i like it a lot you can give it a try uh, it's it's possible that you may not you know uh, be used to the ui initially but you will be uh, you'll get used to it within a week or so it also took it also uh, in the beginning i such sort of thought that there are too many things and it looks a little messed up but uh, within a week or so i was you i was used to it and, and now i love it so this was it for this video guys thank you very much see you guys in the next video